make sure everybody's on. Everybody on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're good. What okay. My name is Officer Green, North Little Rock Police Department. I'm the public information officer. Uh, the reason we're out here tonight, obviously, is because we were we had an officer involved shooting uh, that we received at about 4:26 p.m. Well, let me give you the pre the preliminary details of the call. At 4:26 p.m., we received a phone call from a railroad railroad employee about a uh, an adult male lying on the tracks with his head actually on the railroad tracks. We had three officers uh, dispatched to the scene. When they arrived on scene, they made contact with that adult male. And during that confrontation with the adult male, uh, the, the adult male displayed a hatchet. And we don't know what transpired after that, once he displayed the hatchet, but the officers ended up, uh, uh, two of them ended up discharging their firearms on that adult male. Do we know what, uh, is he, was he taken to a hospital? Uh, our officers immediately uh, provided medical attention to him uh, by placing tourniquets on his body and applying uh, pressure to his wounds. And then medical was immediately dispatched to the scene. He was transported to a local hospital where he is currently being treated and he is in critical condition, condition at this moment. You said there was a third officer on the scene and that officer did not did fire? Did not fire the weapon. Okay. Correct. So to be clear, two officers fired their weapon at one man. Yes, two officers fired their, their weapons in this incident. That is correct. Now, do we know anything else from the call from the, the train that why did they try to interact with the man or? The, uh, we believe we're not positive yet, but we believe that it was probably a railroad conductor or somebody driving by and saying, hey, there's an adult male because this is a, 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 a frequent area for people to walk across, lay down, sleep. Um, and they just wanted him, his, his, his condition to be checked out. Uh, and also he was trespassing on the railroad office. So okay. they wanted him to, to be checked on by our police officers. So we typically see people that are over here sleeping, like homeless people perhaps? It, transient people, yes. Okay. Yes. Is there a description of the suspect at this time? Uh, adult male. Do we know if, uh, what ethnicity they are? Uh, I'm not going to provide that right at the moment. Oh, that, that's correct, yes. Uh, the, obviously, we're going through the investigative process to maintain the integrity of the investigation. Obviously, we're not releasing every little detail, but I did uh, I did tell you that they were confronted by an adult male that did have a hatchet. We did find a hatchet at the scene. Our investigators did find that, and the the officers that were involved in this incident have been placed at, administ at administrative leave, and they will be questioned by our detectives in regards to this incident, just as soon as they're able. Did the suspect try and charge the officers with the hatchet? I don't know. The, on the... Yeah, I don't know the details of exactly what happened transpired after they arrived on scene. I just know that from the radio call, uh, they said officers were were pretty uh, pretty excited once they confronted the man because he he was attacking them with I say attacking he was approaching them with the hatchet and uh, they asked for more units to respond and then that's when they announced shots fired and then uh, they started requesting medical attention and then they started providing medical attention. Do we know if this train was the one that the they, they saw the man or has this been stopped? Do we know how long this has been backed up with the trains? I don't know if the train tracks have been blocked up, blocked by railroad, the Union Pacific uh, at all regarding okay. this incident. I, I believe that it was a driver by, a passerby in a vehicle saying, hey, there's somebody on the railroad tracks. Okay, but then this train right here, obviously they're stopped in their tracks right now. So do we know? I don't know how long that train's been stopped there. So. Okay, but are y'all letting, not letting people through no, because I, the, of we, that? No, we or? can't let anybody pass. Okay, so that, right now there's no railroad traffic that can go through. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No. Okay. <clears throat> and when do we know when we'll get the uh, identification of the suspect? We don't even know that at the moment. Uh, he was, he was rushed to the hospital so quickly that we weren't able to identify him, uh, his clothing or anything like that. We couldn't find any ID on him. So we'll, just as soon as we're able to find out who he is, we'll, I'll give you guys an update on that information. And do we know which hospital it was? I, I'm not gonna release that information. Okay. okay. Anything else, guys? Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys.